So here we are, late to the party with Spellcasting 101. Sorcerers get all the girls. Yes, I wish I'd uh, known about that when I was choosing my middle school. Right. I've gone to sorcery school. That was stupid. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hey, I see it. I see the front. Okay. Hey, look Perfect. at that. This really is racisty. Yes. You weren't joking. Yeah. I'm not sure about the artwork. It looks, I don't know, a little bizarre. Well, you know, it's it's inspired by a, a time long past. Yes. So it's written by Steve Moretzky, who's a pretty uh, well-known figure in uh, graphic adventures. He was an implementer at Infocom, which was a very famous uh, premier uh, game company in the early days of microcomputers. They did a lot of text adventures. He did uh, Planetfall and Stationfall were probably his biggest uh, games uh, at Infocom, but he also did uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which he wrote with Douglas Adams. So he's uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, pretty popular. And I've, uh, never, I've never heard of that book. What or game? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Right. You've never heard of that? What? I I I. I'm kidding, of course. I've heard of it. I've read it. I've read them all. <laughs> so I was about ready to just turn this off. Yeah. Um, so, uh, not, yeah. Not quite time for that. Not right. time yet. Yeah, right. Um, so, uh, yeah, he uh, worked at Infocom. And then uh, this game, the spellcasting series, in fact, they've done three of them. This first one was made in 1991. They uh, helped, uh, helped along the evolution of graphic adventures. Uh, they were started by uh, well, the graphic adventures themselves were pioneered by Sierra, who um, made a lot of great text adventure series, uh, graphic adventure series like uh, King's Quest, Space Quest, um, Police and, Quest, Police Quest. Yeah, that was a, that was a particular favorite of mine. I love those games. Mine too. Mine too. I loved all those games. Yeah. Those games. The more you. Um, the more they made you hew to police procedure, the more I enjoy them. They were good. We had to mm. actually drive around and like ticket people and you know do investigations where you're gathering clues and stuff like that. Those were great games. Yeah, doing all the uh, follow up paperwork was my favorite. Thing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so Sierra and then uh, Lucas Arts came in after a while and started doing graphic adventures, but they. Uh, pioneered the use of uh, point and click where they have a, instead of just writing in a text parser where you'd have to actually type out the sentence, try to guess what the, what words the game understood. LucasArts had it. So there was a whole, there's a list of verbs that you would choose from on the screen. You just click on it with your mouse and then um, interact with the game that way. And the spell casting series uh, continued to evo evolutionize the industry by uh, adding, um, so being a little bit more of a refined UI, picking your uh, commands and stuff like that. So, can I just say that "evolutionize" is a fantastic word? I think that I, just, I think I you think just, just made up. Yeah, I think I yeah. just made it up right now on the spot. Pretty good. My favorite <laughs> other made-up word that I've heard in the last little while was "prostitutiest." <laughs> I can imagine uh, the use. The con the context in using. which I heard yeah. that word. Yes. Yeah, let's just leave that alone right now. So anyway, I'm going to say no, I don't want to restore because I want the game to uh, start from the beginning. Restore just means you can load up a point where you've saved it. So this game, the first thing you'll notice when it starts up and it gives you this kind of flavor text at the beginning giving you a setup of what's going on is uh, it looks alarmingly similar to Harry Potter or Harry Potter looks alarmingly similar to this game because... Uh, no, yeah. Sorry, if I can interrupt. What is Harry Potter? Yeah, funny. Anyway, I'll okay. keep going. Um, so the uh, the guy starts off, his name's Eagle or Ernie Eaglebeak, and he starts off, he's locked... Which in. actually sounds like he could be a classmate of Harry Potter's, frankly. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. I was thinking that, too. That it has a Maybe. very J.K. Rowling's-type name. Like Maybe this whole game is and... set at Hogwarts. Is that possible? Well, the thing is, he starts off, he's locked in the closet, or he's locked in his attic, he's uh, beaten and treated like a slave by his evil relative, and he his only ticket out of there is going to wizarding school. It's uh, pretty remarkable. The yes. writer may have a case against yeah, J.K. Exactly. Rowling. Exactly. But, uh, yeah. 
lawyer would they might not have such high power lawyers but I just wonder if uh, if this is basically Hogwarts that Ernie Eaglebeak is going to. Well, it's I think it's Did called it? in the game. It's called um, uh, I think it's called Sorcerer's U or something like that. Sorcerer's U. So I'm just yeah. saying when it was Sorcerer's U, it, I mean it looked from the title screen like it was you know like an '80s titty comedy basically. <laughs> Right. So maybe like Dumbledore came in and had to like scrub the school's reputation <laughs> after right. everything that goes down here. I don't know. It looks right like the kind of school I wish I'd had gotten to go to. Right. But I so, went to different schools. Right. So um, so uh, when you look at the UI here, you've got uh, as I said, you've got a list of verbs on the left, and they're um, alphabetized, so they're kind of easy to. Uh, spot like what happens oh yeah 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 you've got your you've got um you've got screw which i think is going to probably come in handy at some point in the game is eat on the list I, i'm sorry we're down lower now in the s and the t's is eat yeah, available you definitely can eat things eat crack what happens <laughs> yeah, exactly well, I, I don't know so it's well, that's worth a, good, a shot uh, what do you want to eat okay so, Eat crack. Uh, yeah, exactly. So you can do it any any number of ways here. For you can uh, ta, 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 ta. you can click on the uh, command and it populates it in the parser there on the bottom. Mm -hmm. and if you eat crack, I think you probably are going to turn into Rob Ford. But uh, let's just see here. Uh, I can either hit enter or hit do. Do is oops. I think Rob Ford would definitely not agree with that statement. Yeah, this game would be, I, don't know, I think it would just be the best game ever if Rob Ford was off to spellcasting one on one <laughs> school and, uh, <laughs> and right. eating crack fueled right. him like Popeye eating spinach. <laughs> right. So yeah, there's uh, just quickly, the, the UI, there's some buttons here that do various things, bring up a help, help menu, there's a map you can consult that sort of helps you find your way around. Uh, some interactions with the words themselves, you can like erase what you've put out and you hit do, which is the same as... Uh, uh, hitting enter. Yeah. You've got your inventory. Where are you wearing, wearing a, cloak? a cloak? Not an invisibility cloak, but a cloak mm -hmm. nonetheless. And you've got a compass which shows you which directions you can go in and in and out, which just means you can enter or exit something if it's there at the screen. What's your favorite direction? Um, my favorite direction? I mean, I don't know. I mean, like one direction? I don't know don't, any of those guys. Don't be, I meant like <laughs> northwest, east, or south. But if you're going to go, I don't think I necessarily I, have. I'm a, sorry, I asked the question. <laughs> I don't think I necessarily have a favorite direction. Everybody's got a favorite direction. Come on, <laughs> mine is north northwest. Uh, okay. Very good. Just FYI. So anyway, let me look around again here. If you hit. Ever shopping for a gift oops. for me? Sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, picture. So let me just start typing in the parser. Yeah. So you can look, and it just gives you a look around again at what you're looking at. Da, 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 in an attic. You have a writing desk. Yep. Two windows. There's a room to the north, and there's a closed door on the west, and a fireplace. And hey, The room to the north is smelly, too, yes. so we should probably avoid it. And there's a rat, and I don't think it's Scabbers, but it very much could be a little Harry Potter reference. There was a movie called The Island. Yes. Is that, uh, what's her name? Uh, Scarlett Johansson, yeah, I think. Exactly. Was in that? Yeah, and Jude Law, I think, was in that. Maybe. Was it Jude Law or Uma Gray? Anyway, I, I never saw it, but it, it got sued. By a movie, a low-budget sci-fi movie from the seventies. Yeah, I've seen both. It's Cronus, the uh, yes, the know, horror something or, experiment, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, apparently, it had like seventy plus similarities, and the thing that won the case was a plot hole in both movies, and that was actually the thing that determined in favor. So I'm just saying, you got the rat, you got the, you know, the wizard school. I'm, we should we should be taking notes here. This could be if we right. find a comparable plot hole. Right. Uh, so any ideas what you want to do? I've, I've, I've actually played, sorry, I've actually played just this first scene 
As soon as we get out of this room, uh, that's about as far as I've gotten. But we got to we got to get out of this room right after we check out the pile of hay. What's in the pile of hay? Okay. Something. Is that our bed? So, Is that where we sleep at night? That's according to the to the game. But let's examine the hay. Pile of hay. Har Ooh. har har. Ew. Hopefully this game is not full of bugs. There's uh, hopefully if it is, they're not like insects. Right. So la la la, a writing desk. Let's open the writing desk. Uh oh, someone's coming. Uh oh. Grab the love note. Yeah. Grab it. Grab it. Yeah. Take it. Love Quick. note. The guy comes in. Who's coming? A nice thing about this is it's similar similar to the advanced parser in Zork where you can actually type a whole sentence out and give it a couple of different commands inside a sentence and it will understand it. So I'm going to get love note and read. I just oh, sorry. And want to say that it, it's similar to the advanced parser in Zork, maybe the geekiest sentence I've heard right. anybody say in a long time. Right. Well, I am a game historian, so I, I, I get think kind it's of wonderful. verbose. When it comes to that, I actually do think it's wonderful. I'm just, it's funny. So I've got both. Let's read that love note quick. Yep. This is our first little taste of salaciousness in this game. Here we go. Maybe throw out a spoiler alert before you. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Dearest Lola, I am a secret admirer for years. I have worshipped you from afar. I am not worthy of your attention yet, but shortly I leave for sorcerer you, and when I have become great and powerful wizard, I will return to claim you. Please wait for me, my little treasure chest, Ernie Eaglebeak. So this is a letter that Ernie wrote to someone else. This isn't to Ernie. It's from Ernie. Uh -huh. He said chest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Joey Rottenwood. Yeah, his evil stepfather. Man... Why you gotta be like this, stepfather? Uncle Vernon, no. Oh wait, that's that's the other story. You are not gonna become a wimp of a wizard. <laughs> so a little bit of audio. Did you hear that, Chris? I heard the little ha ha ha. Okay, I thought it was. Yeah, there's uh, a little bit of. Uh, there's a tiny bit of animation and a tiny bit of uh, audio that's included with the game. <laughs> You've got somebody else there that's uh, wanting to play. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I, I'll be right back. I need yeah, to help. I'll pause. So, the evil stepfather is going to sell him into slavery, working on the dragon tending farm. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit harsh. Selling your stepkid. Yep. That is. That is next level douchebaggery. And having said that, he leaves the scene. I don't think we've done anything with the rat. I think we got a little bit of time here to. Uh, it's he's, the guy's going to be here in three hours to collect them. Uh, it doesn't, you know, the, you can see a clock on the uh, under the picture that gives you an idea of time passing. Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's four so o'clock on Friday. We have a bit of time. We can muck about. Um, I wonder if you can get. Whoops. I didn't mean to do anything with the love note. Uh, let's get rid of that. We didn't do anything with the rat. I wonder if we can take the rat. Take scabbers. Good idea. Interesting. Robbie Bite the rat. Your hand off. Yeah, yeah, well, put your hand off, man. Be careful, Robbie. We're bigger than you. Okay, well, I don't know. Do we have anything we can capture the rat in? I don't think so. Why would we want it? That's a good... Well, the the first rule of adventure games is take everything that isn't nailed down. Because you might need it later. That's a, that's a good point. But uh, I don't know that we have anything we could actually catch the rat with. We've got nothing. The second rule of adventure games is... <laughs> Don't talk about adventure games. Right. We're breaking it big time right now. Yes. Uh, I think we can get the hay. Let's get hay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bug-infested yeah. hay. Let's bring yeah. that. Yeah, what, 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 could you, what could you not do with bug-infested hay? There's no way to become popular at a wizard... 
more popular at a wizarding school. Right. Than bug bug infested, infested hay in your bag and a rat. Right. Uh, Who's ready to party? Woo! Examine crack. Nothing in there. A lot of old dust. So Can we hide? Else? Can we hide anything? Should we mail this letter? I mean, if we if we really feel this way about... Oh, yeah. Well, actually, actually you're right. We, we didn't look at the application. Examine application. Partially completed application. Oh, we've already been on a quest. So it's half completed. What kind of quest? Oh no, this is a. Oh a right, it's a multiple choice. His is that he has an evil stepfather. There we go. That'll do. That's funny. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. But uh, let's let's look again. Look around again. So you've got. The smelly door to the south. You've got the door the guy went out on the west. You've got a fireplace. Oh, and I get the application. There. Yeah, we'll need that. Yeah, definitely going to need that. Okay, let's go to the smelly room. So that is okay. north. All right. Makes me nervous, but... It's the potty chamber. The hairy yeah. potty chamber. There you go, exactly. If there's a character in this game called Harry Potty, then that's it. <laughs> it's over. It's it's a, the jury, the defense uh, has no... Initiate lawsuit in three, two, one. Let's open the tiny door. Oh my god. That was definitely an ominously opening door. Can you imagine if that's where you have to go to the bathroom? In it a little tiny room with a little pot? Where, it is where you have to go to the bathroom. No, no, I mean like you in real For life. real life? Yeah. For real life. Come on. It's terrible. Uh, examine potty. This game would never stoop to such depths. What if there's a, like... An opening underneath. Can we push the potty? Ah, very good. Hidden, I'm, I'm, uh, just feign, I'm just feigning ignorance. I know what to do, but uh, got some high-powered animation there. There we go. Metal grate on the floor. Yep. I wonder if you can get the spider. I don't think I want to get the spider. I'm no doubt I'm going to get bit. I'm turn into like some kind of super person. Or get like pus filled boils all over your face right before you go to go to university. I'm going to get great. It's quite a uh, scene here when you're getting the great. A mighty tug. Yeah. The great separates and flies around the room. Our score just This is how we get out. This has to be how we get out of here. That's it. Your score's gone up by three. That's right. There's no way our evil stepfather would let us out through the uh, front door. No, I think the western door is locked. So Perfect. All I need to do so. here is just hit... Is there anything? There's nothing else, right? I don't think there's anything else here. Spider. Spider web. I've got the potty. I got the potty! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to go in. Sorry, Sorry, did you actually take the potty? We we're bringing it with us? Yeah, we're taking the potty with us. Of course we're taking the potty with us. Wow. We are not going to be popular at school. That's not good. Open door. For some reason, the door closes after a while. Let's enter the hole. I'm sure that's not the last time I'm going to say that in this game. Well. Enter hole. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Squeeze down the hole. Oh, there we go. We're out in town. We got the letter hey. to our girl. Tight fit. It's getting racier by the moment. Smearing all these wonderful expressions. Yeah. Clothes tear away. Look at this. This is all a gooey puddle. Come on. This is it smack. Sounds, sounds like a porno setup. You come? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Old horse? I mean, this is just racking yeah, up everything. everything. 
you might. It's like an evening in Tijuana. Yeah, bingo. Cow manure. Your score's just gone up by five, so yeah. that's impressive. Is that added to the three we got I earlier? Think so. I think it will show you. Are we at eight? Oh, we eight? So we've got eight out of a thousand. Eight out of a thousand. All right. Level one sorcerer. Whoops. Didn't know what I was typing there. You're in a east-west alley. Home is the northern wall. There's a cottage on the southern wall. I have no idea what a tiger belly cottage is. Well, it's probably the name of the developer. Right. <laughs> Tim Tiger Belly. East end of the alley is a closed gate that leads to the street. Western end of the alley is a, has a small tool shed where the gardener keeps his tools and work clothes. So the clothes might come in handy. So of running yeah. around naked. First thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to save. Because uh, when I play any type of game, I take three steps, and then I save the game. Good. Let's call it uh, uh, S101 Alley. I'll say Al for Alley. I don't. I don't. I forget what the, in DOS what the uh, character limit is. It's really ridiculous. Low. Yeah, it's pretty low. Save. Saved. Wonderful. Alleyway. Uh, so the shed. Let's get the clothes first. Then we can muck them. Absolutely. Out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, West. I don't want our. I don't want our stepfather coming out and. Uh, so let's be. Safe. Reaming, reaming us out on the street. Right. So enter shed. The shed door isn't open. Oh. This is the worst thing about these adventure games, right? You know, can't you infer that if I want to enter the shed, then I will naturally open the door? Give me a break. Yes, tool shed. How are we going to get in? Door. The door is locked. Flat rock on the ground. Yeah, sure it is. So move rock. Uh-oh, what's going on? It's Lola. Lola. L O L A Lola. Oh, oh puff and feathers. <laughs> I believe J.K. Rowling stole that expression <laughs> as well. I'm caught stupid dress, stupid old gate. The gate shakes as Lola tries to free her garment. About to be shipped into seven years of surgery, and your love is about to. Don't leave me hanging, Bill. Yep. This is more action than I've gotten in years. <laughs> See you scratch a naked cover with filth. What more could possibly go wrong? I'm afraid to ask. Anyway, let's Lola go. Tiger Belly. Hey, hey, hey. This is uh, Tiger Belly Estates, Tiger oh, Belly Cottages. Oh, right. Right. She must be related the to the Tiger developer, Belly. which means Lola comes from money. Here you go. Get Rusty Key. I'm just going to say key. I should know what I'm talking about. So the key is being stepped on by Miss Minnie Bean Counter, elderly spinster. Yeah. Oh, can we listen? I won't. I won't tell you what to do. But if this was me and I was playing by myself right now, yeah, I would push Miss Bean Counter and see what happens. All right. Push. I'm not trying to mess up your game. I know it's not a good idea to to push the well, elderly. I've saved. I've saved. That's why I save, so we can do a thousand things here and just push the Bean Counter. Room. Yeah, yeah. Shove her. Yes! Who says violence isn't the answer to anything? Violence comes through again. All right, she's off the she's off the key. Yep. Meanwhile, Lola's at the gate and my evil stepfather is like uh flirting with her. With Lola? Yep. Oh god damn it, this guy's a Piece of work. I'll invite you over I, for I, tea. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I told you this game was uh, salacious, didn't I? They're going to have it. tea. <laughs> Scandal. <laughs> da, 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 da. Decide that someday Rottenwood will be tortured to death by hell hamsters. Hell hamsters. Wasn't that the thing Harry was fighting at the end of the Chamber of Secrets? 
Oh my god. Okay. Now I've got the key because you I can get the key. Get key. Open shed door oop, door with key. Yes. Enter shed quick. I'm Dang making go. this the day I was born. Sorry, I missed it. What happened to our cloak? Did we lose it in the in the going down the Ah, the... good point. Yeah. Shed. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't Jimmy the cloak anymore. That's rising right. moon. Overalls, great. So get clothes and wear clothes. Let's see if that works. That doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me either. Get clothes. Huh? Mm. Overalls. See it? You think they there we go. associate clothes with overalls? Get overalls and wear overalls. Yes. Bingo. Now I'm not naked. Now there's tools here too. Hey. Fortunately, I can't get the tools because it has this pithy response. There you go. Are you going to sorcerer you or gardener you? I would prefer gardener you. No. Nope. Like my smart ass re remark. Okay, exit. Back in the alley. So this is as far Lola's as... Lola's gone. Lola's gone. She took off with our stepdad. Is I, that what I'm going to understand? I'm not sure. You know what, Lola? I'm willing to bet there's uh, there's more appropriate matchups for us waiting at Sorcerer I U. I think you're probably right. You never... Like, everybody... All, every kid says, Oh, my love. You know, I'm just going after college. I'll... Uh, you know, when I come back, I'll catch you. And I made that, mis I made that mistake. <laughs> You know, you go to college and you realize what was I thinking. <laughs> so this is as far as I've gotten. Um, so I'm as in the dark as you are. But what to do next? Let me just check my inventory again. Check the inventory. The rusty key, the potty, an application, a pile of hay, and the love note. You're wearing the overalls, and you've got some poop in the potty. Can we examine the overalls? Maybe there's something in the pocket. Oh, that's a good idea. Examine overalls. Ooh. Okay, nothing, nothing special. Nope. So let's see what are there, what are the things that are on the list below potty that we can maybe uh, goof around with. Let's see. Let's see. This is what I like about these games is it gives you a list of all the things visually. Yeah, you I mean, try, interact with. try to trying to guess what what word they've chosen for certain things can be tricky. So yeah, I agree. This is nice. Potty, so whiskey, nice. shed door, stairs, the tiger belly home, tool shed, tree, and window. Look, it's worth a shot, even if Lola is flirting with her stepfather. And, yeah. and really, let's be honest, he was flirting with her. We have no idea how receptive she was to his advances. Right. I think, in spite of our current status in town, it would yeah. make sense to try and seek out Lola Tiger Belly and okay. give her the letter. Let her know how we feel. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. You know? I'll say... We, we'll uh, never know unless we try, Bill. We'll never know. I'm saving the game because I moved from the shed out into the alley, and that's one move, so I'm saving the game, of course. Yep. <laughs> if a game allows yeah. me to save, I will save. You know, if we got to go back in and put the overalls on again, just forget it. It's going to take too long. Right. So let's go to the just gate. Wait. Look. Let me see. The gate is on the east. Whoa, this is weird. They really are together. This is unfathomable. Uh, like he makes a he makes a kind of a nice joke here about hitchhiking because, like I said, I saw he, that. Yeah, did he hitchhike wrote, this guy to the galaxy? Got... The game, anyway. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! We we Dude. made it. <laughs> nice. Dean asked the student whether he was in the top half of his class. Oh, no, sir, replied the student earnestly. I'm one of those who make the top <laughs> half possible. <laughs> Sounds pretty funny. Here we are in Donkey Dung Hall. Well, this is neat. This is, they don't cut, they don't really, uh, they really cut to the chase in this game. 
<laughs> Suddenly you're at the sorcerer yeah. you. We didn't have to take a train. No, exactly, or a or a flying car. Yep. One thing that bothers me about the Harry Potter books, I've, I've read Please. I've read three of them with my son already. Yep. Is that every the beginning of every book? At the end of every book, he has to go back to the bloody Dursleys, a family that hates his guts, treats him like a slave, and imprisons him. Like I know. After the, I can understand the first time, but at the second book or the third book, you think somebody would say like like Weasley? But just just stay. Say, at, yeah, the yeah. Weasley, stay with us for the stay summer. With us. Or, don't stay or with those even Dumbledore. Even Dumbledore should just say, look, there, there's plenty of rooms here at Hogwarts. Yeah, just stay and you can sweep you know? the floor. You know, you can uh, yeah. dust the okay. armor, suits of armor. Live, like, live every, with Hagrid. Every book he has to he has to yeah, he has to end up. With those Dursleys again. It's like the only insanity. thing I can think of as to why that had to go down was to to humble him. Maybe. Yeah, I guess. Or it's just a funny yeah. way of starting every book. He's some he has some That's high the with the Dursleys, and then he's out of there. Anyway, where I'm I'm diverting here a little bit. Dursley hijinks. So, Donkey Dung Hall. We're it looks like we're registering here. I say we examine the long line. We're here, I presume from the title screen, we're here for one purpose and one purpose only. Get to laid. Lose our to lose our virginity and get laid. <laughs> so let's examine the long line and see who's hanging out. Let's check out First of all, our, I have to, uh, I have student to, body. I have to veto your decision first. There's a plaque on the wall. I'd like to read it. You go ahead and read the plaque. Black. I'm so glad I read that. David and Doris Donkey Dung. Try saying that ten times fast. David and Doris Donkey Dung. David and Doris Donkey Dung. I won't actually do it ten times. Uh, examine line. Yep. Okay. Well, let's enter line. You get in the long line, which moves at a reasonable pace. Okay. Well, Undo cloak. Let's get this party started. Hey, that's a mystery. We ended up with the cloak again. Yeah. You found a uh, bug in the story, a hole in the story. Well, they did promise there would be bugs. Yes, yeah. that's true. That is true. Uh, I guess we just wait. Nice. How about twiddle thumbs? Nope. I'm just a dumb, underpaid parser. Mm -hmm. I guess we gotta wait. Can we? It did move pretty fast. Here you go, Beak. What is your ID number? Oh God. Ninety nine. Like Gretzky. Ninety nine. Okay, ninety nine. Probably not, but let's try it. Probably seven. All right. Ethics 101. I'm going to say Snape. We're going to go. Nope. Well, it's definitely not Bean Counter. Okay, She's on. from town. Probably Puttsburgh. 